We love the Detroit Lions here on the show. The fans have been super cool to us. They did not win yesterday. I was rooting for them. I was, I was polling Detroit. I was trying. And uh, the discussion that has kind of blossomed the last two weeks has been, okay, Jared Goff got us to this point. He, this is where we're at now. Dan Campbell, Jared Goff, they've got us here. Now, last week, Jared Goff throws three interceptions. They won, but he still threw three interceptions against the Bears, and they almost lost. Now you go against Green Bay, and it's a one-score touchdown game. And argue, you could argue that the reason the Green Bay Packers got the touchdown they did to win the game was because he fumbled, and it was the touchdown that they got off the scoop and score. You could argue that. People are now saying they need to trade Jared Goff from Detroit, um, get in a guy who can win them playoff games. I saw one guy on Twitter say Jared Goff is Andy Dalton if Andy Dalton had won a playoff game. Um, So just this kind of average guy who can win you games. Um, I have my thoughts about that, but Stan, what do you think? Well, when you first told me about this, my immediate reaction was, why would you want to get rid of Goff? I mean, he's a, he's, a, he's a very good quarterback. And maybe he's not, you know, the best in the league, but at the very least, he's consistent week in, week out. He performs pretty well. Um, then I remembered something. Before Goff, who did they have? They had Stafford, right? They had Stafford mm-hmm. for so many years. And I think out of all the uh, quote-unquote bad franchises in the league, the Lions have been spoiled because they really haven't had a bad quarterback. I can't remember... Uh, You know, in my time of watching football, a Lions team led by a bad commander on the field. And I think that's why, uh, you know, you hear this from the fans. Um, For me, as a Jets fan, who has never really had a good quarterback since maybe Ryan Fitzpatrick, I guess, um, I I disagree with this heavily. I think you've got to keep Jared Goff there unless you have some sort of for sure trade for, I don't know, Patrick Mahomes or someone. Mm -hmm. But the chances of that happening are so low, I think unless you build someone by picking them in the third round, second round, whatever of the draft, and and developing them into a good quarterback, which you do have, you know, seven first-round graded quarterbacks in this upcoming draft, so maybe that's an option. But I just don't think you get rid of Jared Goff unless you have some for sure way to to improve your offense by some other quarterback. So Jared Goff this season has 67.9% completion rate, 3,075 passing yards, 18 touchdowns, and 8 interceptions, 96.9 rating. Um, That's kind of where he's been most of his career. Those stats are pretty well in line with where he should be. Last year, though, he was the best quarterback at protecting the ball in terms of touchdown-to-interception ratio. He had 29 touchdowns, only 7 interceptions, 4,438 passing yards. He has not had a quarterback rating, though, above 100 since 2018 when he was with the Rams. And I think a lot of people that I'm seeing this discussion with are wanting to see Hendon Hooker. I think that's their end goal. Because the Lions did draft Hendon Hooker. He's a rookie, and they're kind of saying there's that like kind of rookie potential. Like they're like, we don't know, we don't know what we don't know yet. And they're not realizing that this guy could hooker could be awful. He could be amazing or he could be awful. Those are the two options really. Cause other, anything else you have Jared Goff again. So, um, I, I agree with you. I think getting rid of Jared Goff is a terrible, terrible thing to do. And hopefully a lot of these tweets I was seeing when I looked up Detroit Lions because I wanted to see what the what the fans were talking about so we could talk about it and I was shocked honestly to see all these tweets talking about whether they should trade Jared Goff because you also have to ask the question if you're saying okay no we're not going to replace him with Hendon Hooker who are you going to replace him with like you said who is better than Jared Goff right now that you're going to get you're not going to go out and get Cam Newton in free age. That makes no sense at all. You're not going to bring in some random dude who like a Ryan Fitzpatrick or Robert Griffin, the third or something like that. Those are both downgrades at this point. I, I don't think getting rid of Jared Goff is the answer. He's not the best quarterback in the league. Like again, like you said, but he can win you football games. He can get you to a super bowl. He took the Rams to a super bowl. Um, 
Grant, and you can argue that was McVay, that was Aaron Donald, that was whatever. Either way, he was the quarterback in the Super Bowl. Next thing, Aiden Hutchinson. Love Aiden Hutchinson. Fantastic player. You don't see it in the stats because he doesn't get a lot of sacks, even though he is the Lions' sack leader. He gets great quarterback rushes, though. Didn't happen yesterday. He did. He was pretty much a non-factor for most of the game because the uh, Packers' O-line just showed up, I guess. Um, Jordan Love ended up having a great game because of it, and when Aiden Hutchinson isn't able to do what Aiden Hutchinson does, the entire Packers' defense seems to fall apart. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Did you watch the game? Did you notice anything about Aiden Hutchinson or the Lions' defense that I'm not noticing? You know, I watched the game. I didn't really notice as much of this. Um, for me, what I really noticed was uh, the Packers being a very consistent offense. I mean, you saw a very consistent play style. They weren't holding on to the ball too long. I think that might have been the big difference here. I mean, Love, who you know has been really inconsistent on the field, uh, he looked really sure of his passes. Uh, yesterday he looked like he knew what he was doing he looked confident in it um in regards to Hutchinson being stopped you know I I can't say I really noticed that too much um I think the announcers might have mentioned it here and there um that Hutchinson hasn't had the best of games but to me I think you know you're a rookie you're on uh you know on on prime time television a mess up here is okay uh breathe take a second take a step back and get ready for the next game uh Hutchinson isn't a rookie though He's oh, second a second year. year. Yeah, he's a second year player. Just to clarify, I can already see the comments. <laughs> um, but no, I think you're right. I they they do have a questionable defense. They've had some injuries on defense too, but the, in general, they have a very young defense. Um, I think there's a lot of anger that's being carried over from their game against the Bears, and people are like. How did we almost lose to the Bears? And then they lost to the Packers. Two divisional games in a row. Two rival teams in a row. Um, Aiden Hutchinson is great. He's going to be a guy to build your defense around for a long time. Um, I, I am totally pro Aiden Hutchinson. Thanks for watching that video, guys. If you want to check out a f- most recent full episode of No Buts About It, that's going to be right over here. Yeah, right, right there. Check that out. And if you just want to see more short clips, we're going to have one right over here for you to watch. Uh, Check out No Buts About It on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, anywhere you listen to podcasts so you can listen to us on the go. Once again, have a great day and go do something nice for someone.